have spiritual purpose of priest in your home and watchman over your family. The moment you slip off at the gate and the enemy sneak into your home, he can inflict his vengeance upon anyone under your care. Oh my God. Papa, does that mean the enemy has sneaked in? <laughs> yes. Long time ago. Oh and he has begun to rage. Oh my God. Oh. Have mercy on me, Baba. Have mercy on me. Help me, Baba. Can a man put fire in his bosom and his cloth not be burned? Can a man walk on a hot coal and his feet not be burned? So, he who goes in into his neighbor's wife, whoever does it shall not be innocent. Whoever commits adultery with a woman lack understanding. Whoever does it destroys his own soul. A wound and a dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. Hmm. Hmm. Baba, what shall I do? Confess. Confess and repent. But Baba, I have confessed and repented, and the Lord has forgiven me. No. No. You have not confessed. My God. Instead of confessing and repenting, you are only multiplying your iniquities. From adultery, to abortion, to murder. Oh my God. And in an attempt to cover up your sin, you decided to buy all the evidences with money. That is also similar to what David did when he was trying to cover up his tracks. Are you brazen up to face the type of the consequences that David faced? Oh my God. Confess your sin and repent with all of your heart. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I can see that you are willingly allowing the enemy to harden your heart against the will of God. May I know who is speaking, please? I've been trying to get to you since three days. But each time I call, went through, you have been cutting it off. Is that so? But may I know who is speaking, please? It's me here today. Why are you avoiding speaking with me? I got another line this afternoon, so I knew I would get you. This is my new number. Now, what do you want from me? I have wanted to express my sympathy on the sudden tragedy that befell your family. I'm sorry. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello, Reverend. Yes, I'm listening. Just wish to know from you, how did you feel when your daughter died? What sort of question is this? How do you expect me to feel? Huh? You felt sad, right? You felt you have lost someone very precious to you, isn't it? 
Look, Yetunde, I am not in the mood for this kind of trivialities. Don't try to call this conversation, Reverend. I'm serious. Don't try it. Why all these molestations, lady? Why? I'm not molesting you. I'm only trying to express my mind. And you are trying to shut me up. Look, Yetunde, I am not trying to shut you up. I'm just trying to tell you that I don't, I'm, I'm not in the mood for this kind of conversation. I am not. Well, Reverend, you've got to listen. Even if it makes no meaning, you've got no choice. It's all right. I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm sorry. As I was saying, I want to know how you felt when your daughter died. Just as every other father will feel who has lost his precious daughter. That's the point. Which point? It will make you to know how exactly to miss parent felt when she died suddenly. Or rather when you killed her. What, what, what sort of nonsense are you saying? What, what are you talking about? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What else do you need from me, for God's sake? What else do you need from me? And by the way, I, I know nothing about what you are talking about. You know nothing about to me. Listen, she was once a staff in my office. Now she has died. That is all I know about her. Good day. <laughs> hmm. Honey. I strongly believe you didn't make a mistake for inviting him for the conference. The Lord ordained it. <sighs> I would advise you, honey, that you stay out of this matter and focus on your own work in the ministry. No, 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 no. You are getting it all wrong. If you say that his coming to us was ordained by God, then it must have been for a purpose. You know we prayed. We prayed earnestly that the Lord would lead us to a man who would charge, challenge, and bless his workers. Exactly. And God led us to him. Despite his unholy secret life, that's the point, dear. It was ordained of God that he came to our church. It was also ordained of God that he went to Elder Robert's house and carried out that deliverance uh, session. That was where the evil spirit exposed him of his adulterous life. It is for a purpose, so that we will take a positive step. Huh? I believe all these steps were ordained by God for a purpose. So, what do you think you are going to do now? <sighs> the Lord could not have allowed me to see all these things and keep quiet. It's like being like an accomplice. Uh, I should be able to help positively somehow. Help? How? He's an elderly man of God who has fathered many young ministers of God and is highly regarded as a reputable ministry personality. How do you face such a man? Hmm. Well, I don't know, but the Lord has made me know all this so that I could do something positive about this. I mean, somebody has to approach him with the spirit of love and humility and put this point to him. So, what are you going to do now? Hmm. I 
really don't know, but I believe that the Lord will teach me what to do. Excuse me. Hello? Yes? Ah, Pastor Wilson on the line. Oh, ah, Pastor Angela. Oh, how are you, sir? Huh? What? My goodness! 